The Yappening has come to Halo Infinite, so let's check it out. First, let's check out the Event Pass. So we have the 10 tiers of playing a specific mode. We'll show you guys a little bit later here, but these are all the items within the Event Pass. We covered all these previously on the channel, as well as most of these, or really all of these, were actually leaked out, so then I covered them on the channel here. If you guys haven't seen that video, definitely check it out. But you can kind of see a lot of the customization is actually kind of cool. Some pretty cool stuff in here. Now I know waiting around for Halo Infinite to get into a good spot can be a pain for a lot of us. But you know what is a worse pain for you to experience? Pain from improper posture. And that's what FlexiSpot, the sponsor of this video, wants to help provide relief from. FlexiSpot recently sent me the Pro Plus Standing Desk E7. And let me tell you guys, this desk is a total game changer. As someone who works from home all day and then does Twitch YouTube content creation on the side at home all day, I spend a lot of time clicking buttons and sitting down. Well, with this sit-stand desk, that problem is alleviated. As someone who's six foot four, a rather tall person, the FlexiSpot Pro Plus Standing Desk E7 is definitely tall enough for me to be able to stand while working and also be sitting in a comfortable position. I love how the desk keypad has memory settings so I can set it to exactly the height that fits me properly sitting and also standing. And the keypad has a USB connector to it so I can charge my phone while I'm at work. The funny thing is I actually owned a FlexiSpot desk before this sponsorship and now that old desk is now my dining room table. So if you're in the market for its sit-stand desk, I highly suggest FlexiSpot. My affiliate link is in the description and the pinned comment down below. Help support the channel and thank you very much for FlexiSpot for supporting this video. But now let's get right back into those details. We have the banana <laughs> over here. We also have a coating for the Mark 7, which actually does look pretty nice. That's a pretty sweet coating, not gonna lie. I'll definitely will be grinding it out. But this is actually a bit event pass as a whole. I think that's overall is totally worth grinding out for. This death effect is pretty awesome too. Right? It looks like it changes up every time you kill somebody too. So that's kind of a cool thing as well. Now to unlock these items, you'll be playing the Yappening playlist, which seems to be a bit of a social wacky version of big team battle. We check out the list here. We've got Sprockets over here, which is going to be Spankers and Skewer loadouts. This is all in big team battle though. So it's going to be a bit wonky for sure. You also have shoddy snipes mixed in with this mode. You also have total control, stockpile, and Fiesta Slayer throw on top of CTF, and also just regular team sniper. So a bit of a wacky large scale modes coming into Halo Infinite. Granted, nothing like too crazy where it's like, oh my god, like I gotta play this. But again, like it's a nice mix up of just being able to play some new stuff within Halo Infinite with some pretty cool cosmetics on top of it. And so, to, since it is Tuesday, you know what it means? Shop update. And so, let's check it out. So, we got Ghostly Pride right here, which has a cool little stance right here. We have a, a coating that goes along with it, which is kind of unique as well. But this is all for 700 credits. I don't really know about 700 credits, to be honest. Also comes with a visor that's purple and a bunch of emblems right there. Next we have the Echelon Ecto, if I pronounced that correctly. We have a visor right there, which is just gonna be kind of a lime green kind of thing with the texture on it. If that's your thing, more power to you for 300 credits. I don't think I'm gonna pass on it. We also have the bundle, which is just a bunch of, you know, grunt emblems right here, nothing too crazy. I think I might pass on that as well. We have the opulent display thrown on top of this, which has a really cool armor effect, actually. This is pretty awesome, not gonna lie. Uh, but for 1100 credits, though, it's a bit on the high end side of things. Uh, but I just wish there was something a little bit more to this bundle for the most part. But we have a bronze coating right here. It looks, again, pretty nice. But again, you have to pay 1100 credits for it. And then after you get a bunch of emblems, so just a bunch of filler stuff really kind of more like three bits of actual customization one thing always kind of surprises me that like they do have an animation set with these poses right you can see right here it's not just like a static image why don't we have like any kind of end game poses that have like actual animations to it like pointing at the screen or doing something a little more than just kind of like generally just standing still for the most part and having like an idle pose to it Obviously, they have the ability to put animations into these poses. Why not actually have poses that have actual animations that look like you do something when you win the game? I don't know. I think that'd be something that would sell. But hey, man, I'm not a developer, so I don't know. But this is pretty much most of the parts coming around with the happening. Let's actually try to jump in and see if we can actually play a game and see if uh, we get some crazy stuff when it comes to the yaps. Big team snipers. Okay, we'll see. How it plays out when you have the entire lobby with a sniper rifle in big team battle. This is gonna be a bit nutty. Are we gonna pick up a camo here? Okay. There we go. First kill. I wonder if I'm since I'm 
camo if they can see the scope went or not. Oh no, I can't. I can't no scope. It's a problem. Ah! I ran out. That's why we don't have a secondary. I still get the kill though. We're good. Oh, we're, we're continuing on the magic here. Oh, the little jump shot. Kobe. Yeah, the camo just spawned back up. Worked well the first time. Let's make it happen the second time. Yep, still works. Yeah, him too. Oh god, there's too many people looking at me now. Let's go spooky mode here. <laughs> there we go. There's still vehicles on this map? Oh my gosh, really? Yeah, they're dropping a warhog right in front of me here. <laughs> Actually, this is a perfect example to showcase the new scope glint nerf. For now, you don't have like a whole like solar flare happening out of your out of your scope every time you look in. It's just, it's still noticeable for sure, but not nearly as like a solar flare happening on your screen every time someone scopes in like it was before, but it definitely was needed. I know, let's grab a vehicle on this and see what happens. You know, team snipers game with some vehicles. There we go. Got one. Make it two. Oh, we're gonna get this guy too. Here we go. Yeah. Oh no. Oh, and we're done. <laughs> hey, using <laughs> vehicles and team snipers. It worked out well, right? Oh, we get the dub for the first game. Let's go. Oh, look at that. Challenge is completed as well. We actually didn't look at the challenges. Let's check that out while we're uh, still accumulating all the good stuff here. So a lot of the challenges are pretty good here, right? Like play land grab, which is kind of weird for a challenge, but obviously it's not part of the event. We also have the wart charm here for the weekly ultimate, which we covered previously on the channel as well. Uh, it seems like a lot of the event challenges are more just kind of complete matches, kill players, which is like, that's what you do in Halo, right? So nothing too tricky, nothing too particular that makes you have to play in a particular way or random events like, you know, I'm sure we all have horrible memories of the uh, <laughs> the challenge of having to get like back smacks and stuck getting me killing sprees and stuff like that. But that's the happening event guys. Jump in and play it out and have some fun with it. So with all this cool new stuff happening with Halo Infinite and all the new cosmetics, it seems like there's kind of a continuous issue that's gonna be with Halo Infinite with their style monetization and customization. If you wanna know what I'm talking about, check out this video right here. Thank you very much for watching, greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.